If you've listened to many of my videos or heard me speak elsewhere, something you may have heard me mention is the concept of being delighted. I use this word and I'm not sure that I really convey exactly what it is that I mean. So when I come across something that actually does delight me, I like to call attention to it. I hadn't used deep in or tried it out for quite a while. And someone was talking about it earlier and I thought, you know what? Let me download the Deepin 20 beta. So let's just take a quick look at the Deepin installer. Let me share with you why I think this is delightful. And I'm looking at this very much from an end user perspective. So simple, pick your language, agree to the terms, pick your disk, tells you what it's gonna do, say continue, and then it gives you this just lovely slideshow while it installs. It really couldn't be more straightforward. It couldn't be cleaner. You can tell that someone has really put some serious thought into this, trying to make it as simple, straightforward, and just intuitive and easy to use. And so this really struck me as something that's different and something that's remarkable, enough so that I wanted to just make a quick video and, and make sure people see this. I've seen many reviews on DeepN20 in terms of the actual functionality of the distro. Some of them, a few of them, have included the installer portion. But by and large, I haven't seen anyone really call attention to the fact that they've really hit on something here that I think is just genius and absolutely beautiful. The installer just continues through the slideshow as it's doing its work in the background. And when it's finished, it requests to reboot. Once you've rebooted, you're greeted with a very simple set of steps that you need to go through. You select your time zone, create your user account. Including being able to choose the avatar that you'd like goes through a tuning process, a setup process. I'm not exactly sure what it's doing at this point, but it took about 30 seconds in a virtual machine. And then once you get to the desktop, it presents you with a welcome screen asking which type of mode you'd like the system to be in. It lets you select your icons and that's it. You're ready to go. So that's all I had for this. I, I really just wanted to call attention to something that delighted me today, that really made me think, wow, somebody put a tremendous amount of effort into thinking about this and putting forward probably what I would consider to be the cleanest and most elegant installation procedure for Linux that I've yet encountered. What do you think? Is this something that appeals? I could see how maybe people wouldn't like that there's not a lot of detail happening. My guess is that's just not their target. They're looking for normal users who really don't want to be bothered with many things other than the absolute required inputs. I think they're hitting the mark there. But I could see how maybe others might see that as being too simplistic. So just curious to see what you guys think. If you have any thoughts on this, please feel free to comment below. Like and subscribe if you do, of course, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Take care.